What's going on? It's your boy Sermon, the Sermons Domain .com. Today we're here to talk about Tyrese's final solo album, Black Rose. Um, first off, it's, it's a little disappointing to know that this is his last album as a solo artist. You know, that doesn't rule out the possibility of another TGT album, which would be very appreciated. But as a solo artist, Tyrese has never made a bad album. You know, back to uh, Open Invitation, back in 2011, um, he had a really good, you know, project with that. And then, you know, Black Rose is equally as good, if not better. I think it actually might be one of his best solo projects ever. Um, you know, I just wish more people were talking about it. I, lo I love the fact that, you know, Tyrese is a writer, so... You know, songs like Attic and Leave and uh, When We Make Love, you know, it showcases, you know, the best in, you know, his vocal range and his, you know, songwriting abilities. Um, you know, there's just, there's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of love making music. There's, majority of it's probably that. And then, you know, there's like the, the records like Dumb Shit and, um, you know, other ones where, you know, he's talking about, oh, I'm, I'm sorry for, you know, cheating or sorry for, you know, whatever reason, you know, the, the, the breakup type music. Um, I like that there was a hidden Marsha Ambrosius feature on Picture Perfect. It's not advertised, but it's it's also a very small portion. She has maybe like a, a small bridge, but it was still nice to hear, you know, and it was unexpected. Um, I feel like dumb shit doesn't fit into the sequencing because you start off the album with Addict and then you go into Dumb Shit and then you know the third song which was hold on third song which was Picture Perfect um I felt that record you know Dumb Shit just didn't fit into that sequencing it's a good record I'm not a big fan of you know Tyrese's you know alter ego black tie the, the rap inside of him um but Snoop Dogg, you know, didn't have a bad verse. He kind of just, you know, coasted like Snoop usually does. And, you know, the guest features make sense. They don't... I, I said this about the guest features. The guest features, they don't... They're, they're not necessary. Some artists, it's necessary for them to have a guest feature. But not Tyrese. Um, he could have carried this whole album himself. But the guest features that he does have, you know, with Chris and Michelle, Tank... Randy, Snoop, Marsha, I think that's, I believe that's all, uh, Jennifer Hudson, these are all people that kind of add to it, you know, if you have, like, ice cream, everybody loves ice cream, if you got, like, vanilla ice cream, and then you add sprinkles and hot chocolate and stuff, that's essentially what Tyrese is doing musically. Um, overall, I just feel like, you know, this is going to be a very slept-on album. It's on track to do... Uh, I believe it's a 50 to 55 uh, thousand first week, which is substantially lower than his last solo album, Open Invitation, which did 76 thousand first week. You know, not not a huge drop. You know, it still shows that people are listening to Tyrese, but for this being his final album, it doesn't feel like a grand finale. Musically, great album, but you know the reception, you know, is is not. As, as big, it's not as strong as it should be, you know. For somebody who's an actor, you, you think, I don't know, maybe more people would be tuned into the music now that they see him on the big screen and they, you know, probably follow him on Twitter, Facebook. But maybe it doesn't work like that. I mean, I know you got, you know, the LL Cool J's, the Ice Cubes. These are people that are more actors nowadays than artists. So it, it's definitely hard for them, you know, to come back into into this industry and try to make an impact because you know hip hop fans and R&B fans they move on they they find you know a new artist to to really embrace but regardless Tyrese's Black Rose album is one that you should listen to it ends his you know his solo legacy on a high note um if I had to rate it, I would give it like a, a 4.5. There's no song on here that I would skip. But like I said, you know, dumb shit doesn't fit into the sequencing of it. And, you know, 4.5 out of 5. Um, so, for those of you watching 
and most of you guys that are watching are either Tyrese fans or you didn't know Tyrese had an album out, so you clicked on this. Well, I want to know, you know, your thoughts. I want to know your comments. Uh, let me know in the in the comment section below what you think of this album. Does Black Rose live up to expectations? Is this an album that you know really ends his legacy on a high note? Like I said, do you agree? Um, follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Um, and once again, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.